everyone, today's video is going to be showing you what's inside my makeup kit. I've been requested to film this so much since I've been buying some more like stuff for my kit and just restocking it. And a lot of people have been asking me just to show them what's inside my kit, so I thought I would film that today. Um, I do have the Zuka Pro Sport case, so I'm going to be showing you that one. The one I originally wanted was from the MAC website, which was the MAC Suka bag, but it's always out of stock and I didn't want to wait because I'm so impatient. So I just thought, you know what, screw it, I'll just go online and order an actual Zuka case. So I just went online and I got mine from London Bell and they're an amazing website and they're UK based as well. So I thought I'd just buy them from them and they were the cheapest one that I could find online. So I went for that company and it arrived so, so quickly. So enough for talking, let's just show you what's inside my makeup kit and I'm to show you like the outside of the case and then what's inside each little pouch as well. So on the side here you have three compartments. On the bottom here is a big mesh compartment which you can hold anything you want. But in the side here I just keep a couple of things. So I have the B makeup brush cleanser which is good for on the go. It's in a spray bottle. I have the isopropyl alcohol 99% which is good for disinfecting your products. And then I have some cotton pads as well and some tissues on the side. So that's what I keep in this little pouch. And then the zipper above it is the long zipper which goes all the way across and it's really, really deep. It goes all the way to the bottom. So in the side here I keep eyelashes so I'll bring out all the brands I have. So the eyelashes I have is some Liz Martins design by Salon System. These ones are just some like more dramatic creative lashes, some like long wispy ones, some dramatic outer corner lashes and then some really big cat feline lashes. So these are good for like photo shoots or anything like that. I have some wispy thin band lashes and then a couple more packs as well. So like some nice thin different type of lashes. And then the top zipper right here is where I keep my business cards. So I just keep it in like a little metal tin like this and I keep my business cards in here. I'm just covering up my number but I keep all my business cards in this little container right there so I can hand them out to clients when I'm on the job. Filling this around, I'm gonna show you what's on the opposite side. So on the opposite side here, in this big pouch again, I just keep a towel. This is to wipe any brushes on while I'm on the job because it's nice to keep clean. And you can also put this towel on people's workstation if they need to. So it's nice to have a towel on hand. This big zipper here has nothing in, so that's just completely bare. And then in this small compartment zipper on top is where I keep some hand sanitizing gels so I can disinfect my hands on the job. So I've got a couple in there. And then the front you just unclip the pouch and flip it over and then you have the zipper that goes all the way around so I'm just going to unzip it now. So when you open up the case this is what it looks like on the inside. So right here on this side of the pouch you have another zipper that goes all the way around again. So you can put anything you want in this section here, you can put some palettes, some books, a notepad, anything you really want. I don't keep anything on there because I like this bit to be quite soft because it's the front housing of the um, bag. So if I feel like if you put a palette in here, it could crush because it's right at the front and there's nothing to protect it. So I don't keep anything in that pouch, but you can keep it like a notepad or a pen, anything like that. And then you have a small little pouch here and then a larger pouch on the bottom with some um, little bits in the bottom here which you can tie some like hairpins to or clips if you need some for clients. On the top of the pouch here, I keep just a couple of tools. So I have an eyelash curler, some sellotape, some sharpeners, scissors, eyelash glue, and a pair of tweezers as well. So I keep all of that on the top little pouch. And then the larger pouch on the bottom, I keep my my little palette so I can scrape any products onto here for like foundations, concealers, lipsticks, you name it on this palette. I also have the metal spatula as well so I can scrape off the products. And then I have a luxury powder puff sponge as well just so that if I want to get any close up detail of the eye work I can use that on my hand to rest on the face so I'm not rubbing off any of the makeup. So I keep that in the bottom pouch. And then on the inside of the case itself, I have a couple more things. Right on the top is another little um, elastic pouch right on top. 
So in here I just keep uh, some couple things. So I have these little trays with some cotton buds. And then I also keep a bunch of lip liners in here. Just an elastic band. So a couple of nudes, red, mauve tones, pinky tones. And then I also have the Too Faced Lip Insurance Primer as well. So I keep that on top. So that's everything in the little pouch on top. Then in the actual top section of the case I have just this little like plastic tub which again was a bunch of cotton buds housed in but I took them all out and I have my pigments and glitters in here so I'll just show you the couple of I've got in here at the moment. So I have the Max Glitter in Reflex Pearl. So really pretty like white iridescent glitter. I also have the MAC full size pigment in tan which is like amazing for glamorous people or for brides. I think this is beautiful. I have another MAC pigment. This one is in the shade Naked Deep Dark which is really pretty and it's a matte pigment. And I have these little smaller sized MAC pigments which are like these sample sizes. And this one is Soft Wash Grey. I have Movement, I have Silver Fog from MAC, I have the Cheers Medea which is like a really li lilac -y pink, and I have another MAC glitter, this one is 3D Copper, really really pretty, and then I have a Graftobian glitter face and body which is like a silver iridescent glitter, it's beautiful. And then lastly I have the Zodiac Lime Crime glitter in Libra which is like a really pretty purple glitter. So I keep all of my pigments in this little case. Then I also keep a pack of sponges in here as well, just in case you never know when you're gonna need some of these. And then I have a clear pouch on top just here, which has just some disposable mascara and lip gloss ones, which is again, you a must have for clients. You need disposable mascara and lip gloss ones. Without these, I don't know how you're gonna do a client. These are a must. And then I also have my um, customised MAC lip palette in here. This one I made myself and I have a whole video on how I departed the lipsticks for this. But I find this is perfect for clients. Again, you have all the colours in here that you want. And I've got a few extras here because I want to get some of these nudes and fill them up again. But this is perfect to take on the client's jobs because, again, it's got 24 lipsticks instead of taking 24 individual lipsticks. So I love this. Then right at the back I have my brush pouch. So this is the brush roll that I take with me on my client's jobs. So it has all of these brushes in it. It's really, really big. It holds 24 brushes in this set. Um, I do need to go ahead and wash all these because this set is brand, brand new. I haven't used it yet. So I need to go ahead and wash all of these brushes ready for use. But this is what I'm gonna be using on my clients. It's so big and it has every single brush in here that you will need. It's perfect. Then as you can see, I have the rest of my pouches just here. This Zuka bag does come with four of these pouches. As you can see the fourth ones right down here. But you do come with four of these. So you can buy them individually on the website if you want to fill the rest of the case up. But I like the way I have it because you can have brushes and palettes and everything on top. So I love this method. So the first pouch right here says eyes and brows. So then we're gonna go through what I have in this little pouch. So I'll start with the eye stuff first. I have this one from Urban Decay, which is the Book of Shadows, and it just has some really pretty colours in here. This is really, really pretty to have because it has blues, greens, browns, golds. It's beautiful, so I love to take that one with me. I have the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette, which is like a matte palette and it has really pretty colours. Again, this is perfect for bridal. I love this palette. It's so compact as well, so you can take it on the go with you. Then I have my Stila in the Light palette. This one's really pretty, again, for bridal work. It has some beautiful shades in here and it's just gorgeous. So I love to take this one with me. And again, nice and compact, so you can pack it in here nicely. And then right on the bottom, if I can just pull this one out as well. I have this Freedom Pro Artist pad, which is called Black Arts. And it looks like a little notebook, but when you open it up, you have all of these color eyeshadows. 
it is absolutely perfect for this and it reminds me a lot of the Morphe palettes it's just really really good quality and I like that it's nice and compact and it can just really fit in here nicely so I love that one I have the Freedom Pro HD brow palette again this one is perfect for every single client because it has all of these colours in here you have some stencils, some creams it's just a perfect brow palette to take before your clients so I love this one I also have the MAC Fluid Line in Black Track. Again, this is a gel liner for clients. I think this is perfect. Again, you must have for your clients because I love working with gels, so this one's really easy to use. Then I have a MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, which is just like an eye primer for clients, which is perfect. It's brand, brand new. And you just take the spatula, scrape some off and put it onto your palette so you can use this for your clients. I think it's beautiful. I want to get soft ochre as well, but for now I have painterly. And then I have a couple of Freedom Brow Pomades. Um, I want to get some more colours because I think these are amazing for the price. I have one in medium brown, which is looking like this and then I also have this one in taupe which just looks like this it's like a softer colour for blondes and then this one's medium brown so I will get some more eventually I want to get dark brown ebony um, light blonde I want to get loads so for now I've just got a couple of these brow pomades I think they're amazing and then lastly in here I carry a couple of drugstore mascaras, these are all waterproof. Um, I only carry waterproof drugstore mascaras simply because you are going to be using disposable mascara ones. So so it's pointless buying a high-end mascara if you're just going to use a different wand anyway. So I have got a couple in here. This one is the Essence Lash Mania Waterproof. This one is the Fast Stroke Defining Lash Waterproof Mascara from Collection. And this one again is from Collection, the Volumizing Mascara Extra Volume in Waterproof. So I have everything in this little pouch there. And then the next pouch in my Kasuka bag is my Skin Prep Pouch. So everything in here for my skin. So the first thing I have in here is my Garnier Micellar Water. This is good for like removing any makeup if you make a mistake or if the client doesn't like the look and they want to do a different route or a different colour then this is always handy to have a makeup remover. This one you don't need water, you just put this on a cotton bud or a cotton round and then you wipe it off. It's so easy to use and you don't need any water or anything messy like that, it's just perfect to use in here. So this is like the travel size version. Next I have the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. This one again is a really nice drugstore one but I find this is perfect if you are wanting that matte finish. So again, I love this one for bridal work. Then I have the MAC Oil Control Lotion. This one is really good if you have oily skin. It just mattifies your skin and it acts as a primer as well. So I love this one for oilier skin clients. I think this is brilliant. And this again is the travel size version. Next in here I have the Freedom Pro Studio Priming Water. I actually really like this product and this reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Primer Water. So it's very very similar, it's just a lot cheaper. But I think this one is amazing for what it is and I love using this one as well. Then I also have the Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is a must have, this is for pigments or glitters or fixing your makeup as well, refreshing it during the day. And also this is good for any powderiness on the skin, you can just settle it down with this. It's amazing, I needed this in my kit. This is definitely a high recommendation in anyone's kit. Then I have the Freedom Pro Studio Strobe Cream. So this is like the MAC Strobe Cream. It acts like a highlighting primer. And I like to put this on my client's skin underneath their foundation. So this one's really nice. Then I have the Urban Decay B6 Prep Spray. I have this one myself in my personal collection. So this is for my clients, this one. And I love this. This again is the Travel Science version. This was only £10. Then I have the Benefits Professional in here. I think this is an amazing primer for bridal work. And then I have the Urban Decay Classic All Nighter Setting Spray. This is like my holy grail setting spray. I wouldn't live without this. I have the full size version in my own collection, so I bought the travel size for my kit, simply because it's a lot smaller and compact, so you can fit more products in here. But I think this is an amazing product, and this is only £9 for the travel size. And then last but not least, I have the original Vaseline Lip Balm for prepping the client's lips ready for lipstick later on. So that's everything I have in my prep skin pouch. 
this one here is my foundation slash concealer so we've shown you what's in this one powder I have the MAC prep and prime transluting face powder I love this one it's amazing for all skin tones so I have this one in translucent eventually I want to get all the MSF naturals to add in this kit as well but for now this is perfect I also have this little container here with some mini little beauty blender dupes and these are perfect for under eye concealer so I love these for that you just dampen them and they expand and they're mini size so they're perfect for your concealer and then for concealers I have these colour correcting ones from MUA these ones are really really good and I think these are really nice quality as well for the price so these are the um, Pro Base Prime and Conceal Correctors so I have one in a lilac tone I have one in a peachy tone I have a yellow toned corrector and then I also have the classic green corrector as well and then for some more concealers I have a bunch of these LA Girl Pro concealers I think these are amazing I will be getting some more shades in the future and I also want to get the colour correcting ones as well but these I find are really really high pigmentation they blend like a dream and they don't crease either I find I think they're just amazing so I have these in a bunch of shades this one is porcelain this one is in the shade creamy beige this one is in the shade natural this one is medium beige and then this one is in the shade toast which I mainly use for cream contour which I think again brilliant for the price and then I have a couple of concealer palettes from Freedom these are the Pro Conceal and Correct palettes so I have two of these ones here this one is in the shade medium dark and then this one is in shade light so these have been highly duped when compared to the Max uh, concealer palettes so again I got a couple of these shades for my kit and then I also have the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops these are perfect for lightening and darkening your foundations so any toned foundations you've got you can simply add a few drops of these to lighten them or darken them comparing them to your client's skin tone so I think these are an amazing product to have in your kit these are only £10 each and they're a must have I love them so so much they're really really good and then as for foundations, I keep my MAC Studio Fix and my Revlon Color Stays in here. So Revlon Color Stays, I have a bunch of these. This one is in the shade True Beige. This one is Natural Beige. This one is in Ivory. And then this one is in Buff. So really nice colors to have. And then I have some MAC Studio Fix foundations as well. So these are my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundations. This one is in the shade NW20. This one is NC25 and then this one is an NC40. So I have some really nice different shades and I can just lighten them and darken them as I wish to. And then the final pouch in my case is my Contour Blush and Highlight Pouch. So let's show you what's inside this one. And this one here is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Ultra Blush Palette. This one is in the shade Hot Spice. And it has some really nice pretty colours in here, perfect for every day, so it's got like peachy tones and some highlighty shimmery shades on the bottom. This is just perfect, nice and compact, easy to take with you. And then I have some more blushes on the side here, so I have this Pure Minerals Cream Blusher in the shade Koi, which is really nice for bridal work because cream blushes help the blush stay on a lot longer throughout the day, so I love this one from Pure Minerals. So we have the NYX blush in taupe which I use for contour, I think this is a really nice taupey colour, it's really really nice and universal for different people's skin tones. This one is, in the, this one is the NYX blush in the shade Mocha which again is a really nice dusky dark pink, love that one. And then I'm going to move on to highlight, so I have the famous Anastasia glow kit, I love this one so so much, it's so beautiful. So I have these stunning colours on the inside here, which again is for my bridal work or for glamorous makeup jobs. I think these are amazing. And the good thing about this palette is these can actually pop out. So if you run out of a certain um, powder, you can just replace it and you can keep the package in as well. I think I love that aspect of this. Then I have the Freedom Pro Strobe Cream Palette, which I use for cream contouring and highlighting so this is again perfect you have a nice banana color highlighty shade some nice taupey showed shadows for contour i think this is an amazing 
cream palette. And then I have a couple of liquid and cream highlighters. I have the Benefit What's Up. This one is really nice, creamy, and it just glides on beautifully. And it photographs really nice as well. I have the Benefits High Beam. I really recommend this one. It goes on liquidy and it shines so, so bright. I love this. And then I have the NYX Liquid Born to Glow Illuminator. You can have this on top of the skin or underneath as well for like a highlighting primer. I think it's an amazing product, so I definitely have this one in my kit. And then, and then I also have the Freedom Pro Stro Palette, and moving on to contour now. So this is the powder version of the creamy one we had before. So you have the cream and then the powder palettes in here. And I also have this palette with some different shades of powders for like highlights and um, contour with some blush tones here as well. So again, I love this one. So that's everything I keep in my blush, highlights and contour palette. And I keep everything in this in order I would do it. So contour blush highlight is the last thing I would do. So I keep that right on the bottom. And then I put in my foundation pouch and concealer. So that goes in next. Then I use my skin prep. Top. and then I do the eyes and brows so that goes on top as well so as you can see I keep it in order I'm going to use it on the client so I always start with the eyes first so then you can clean up any mess as you go along so I do eyes brows skin prep foundation then contour blush highlight that's the order I like to do it and then I keep my brush pouch on top right at the back my lip palette goes on top just there my pouch for my disposables go right in the front. My makeup wedges go in the back. Then my pigments and glitters just sits on top there. And then the pouch right on top here. I just keep my disposable cotton buds in the little bags. I put them on top. And then my lip liners as well go right in this pouch right on top. And then when everything's back inside the case, I just zip up the bag. <laughs> and I'm ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I thought I would show you what's inside my makeup kit because I have been getting quite a few questions lately. So I really hope you enjoyed this little tour around my Zuka case and I will see you in my next video. Bye. The birds have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for